Hello Airbnb guest. I am Adam and welcome to Lopez. There's my beautiful wife Laura, your other host. Quick scene of what's going on out here in Fisherman Bay. Is we have some water toys out front. There's a stand-up paddle board with paddle nearby it. Uh, some fresh dock water from a hose, a white safety ladder should you decide to fall in, a red one-person kayak, and a little black dinghy that barely holds two people. Let's go down below. And your car is going to be fine parked at the galley. Uh, park anywhere you want, no one really cares. Uh, here's a quick tour of the accommodations. We have a quarter berth in the back here with uh, two kids sleeping bags there, some pillows with fresh linens, a sleeping bag. People sleep here, and people sleep here. You can even pull this back off here and throw it in the floor if you need some more shoulder room. And then there's the big double in the back. This hatch here has a little sun cover over it. You can flip this up and open the hatch. It stays open automatically by this spring. And if you karate chop the spring, it will come crashing down on you. So do that in a controlled manner. Hiya! There it is. The towels are rolled up on each side of the berth. And the heating lights uh, have the switches on them. All the lights of the boat uh, have the switches on the lights as you shop around. This one in here another one here. To the starboard side forward here we have some spare linens, uh, hand towels, and a closet with some light jackets in it. And then we have an awesome bathroom. Let's take a tour. Spare toilet paper usually lives up here and the toilet has two modes to it. Dry mode and flush mode. When you're done doing your business, your toilet paper goes into that bag back there. And as long as it's gone through your body first, you're not going to have any problems with getting the toilet to move business where it needs to go. Um, you switch it over here to dry like this and give it like 10 strokes and the toilet will go dry. Boop. Switch it over to flush mode, give it like 10 strokes. And Sea water, sea water will move things around to where they want to go and uh, get things going. You could switch back and forth between the two modes all you want. Have fun with that. Uh, there's a small light here. Hot and cold pressure water. The shower thing though is uh, pretty weird. If you do need to use it, you just take out the toilet paper and the water will drain into the floor. But uh, there's better shower options around here. Here's an extra door that opens up and will lock over on this side. And that will give you uh, kind of a private berth forward if you, know, you need to separate your parties up. Here's your galley tour. Underneath the sink is this little trash can. Pull the trigger till it goes click. There's uh, a broom under there also. Uh, we're not using the propane uh, stove. Instead, we're using this butane stove on top. There's a cutting board underneath it. Here's your fuel can. Lots of fuel, plugs right in down here. You engage the fuel can here, and then you turn it till it goes click. Boom, clicked. All right, there's your fire. Turn it off, just disengage it when you're not using it to ensure that it doesn't leak out overnight. And uh, back in here we have your smaller stuff. And in here we have the bigger stuff like a tea kettle and such. If you want to make some tea, there's usually some tea bags here and a coffee kit back in here along with some spare fuel bottles. Uh, here's your ice box. There is no ice in it, so it makes it just a box until you put some in. And then there's hot and cold pressure water. Uh, she holds about 30 gallons of water. And there's usually 20 in it at any given time and it lives in a bladder down here. If you're out, you would look, oh, that bladder's all out. We're out of water, sure enough, it's making noise. And you go over to the freshwater pump and you flip off water pressure, so it quit making noise. Back under the forward V berth, there is an outlet in there, forward, 
Uh, right now there's a small light heater plugged in. Coming around to the front of the boat, underneath the stairs, you may have tripped on it coming in, is a small little heater for the plug. Right here. Super easy to operate. Turn it on. I usually leave it at 800. And then this would be a cold boat, hot boat, perfect boat. And it'll click on and off all night as needed for heat. Uh, the bottom plug here is uh, for the battery charger. You know that it's charging batteries when this is lit up. And all we ask is that you unplug the heater when you're not using it. Uh, anytime you're not on board, uh, unplug the heater. And when you leave and check out, unplug the heater. Then the boat doesn't burn down. If you accidentally kick any of the 120 volt uh, AC uh, shore breaker, uh, shore power breakers, they would be right here is where they get kicked. So like once for the electrical panel, the electrical outlets, and once for the hot water heater. And uh, you just want to make sure all those are on if you're having problems with electricity. And then under here is the 12 volt panel, which uh, if the wa if you run out of water, the only thing you need to know in here is the water pressure. If you run out of water and the pump runs all the time and you hear it, you flip it off um, and then it'll quit making that noise. That means you ran out of water, which is just filled up from the hose on the dock. All right, guys, so that's the tour. Uh, thank you so much for uh, choosing us to stay this high-level sailing adventure. Uh, so far, no one's ever gotten seasick and everyone has a good time. Uh, please don't hesitate to make yourself at home. If halyards are slapping at night, then uh, you get out there like we all do in our you know, underwear and you tie those things up to make the boat more quiet. If the fenders are making noise, you can move them around. Uh, so if anything's weird happening, you just uh, give us a call and, uh, or a text. Uh, anywhere on the island tends to get pretty good service if you're on the water. Uh, when you're in the middle of the island, it could be a little iffy. So our numbers are on the wall here if you want to circumvent the Airbnb app, which can tend to be a little slow and sticky at times. So uh, just text us or call us with our phone numbers on the wall. Thank you so much, and uh, have a good trip.